G'day everyone, here we have a Wi-Fi battle against my friend Shadow. Um, this was a NUs versus Ubers team. Um, I decided to test out this new team that I had and um, see how I go with it against Ubers. I mean, to be honest, I could have probably had told him to get an NU team, I mean, um, an OU team, but I guess we'll just see how it goes. I just start off with my Rapid Ashy, he starts off with his Lucario. I just proceeded by going for a drill run, but you know, I missed. 95% accuracy, getting a miss, I mean that's kind of a pain, goes for an aura sphere, does about half damage, I proceeded by doing another jewel run, pretty much take it out because super effective, and that's Lucario down, so that's one kill for me, as you can see I'm running life over on this Rapidash, here it takes out his Zygarde, and I pretty much have to switch out, not much I can do with this. I just went straight to my Kragonal hoping that he would go for a ground type move. And he does. <laughs> Surprising enough, he goes for a Land's Wrath, which is basically illegal at this point because it's an event move. He just switches out from that, goes into Blaziken, and I proceeded by going for an Ice Beam. Yep, does about one third damage. As you can see, I'm running another Life Orb set. Just go for another Ice Beam because. I figured uh, I don't really need Cragonal that much at the moment. Even though I can take out his um, his Zygarde with it, but I have other things I can use for that, so he just takes me out with a Sky Uppercut. I just have to do as much damage as I can to the Blaziken, because that thing is hella powerful. I just proceeded by going to my Bronzong here. <laughs> he goes for a Blast Burn, which is really really interesting almost takes me out so I retaliate with an earthquake just to take it out yeah I probably could have yeah I could have used my bronzong against the um Zygarde but you know I was just hoping to take out the Blaziken because I found it slightly a bigger threat than yeah the Zygarde he, he just comes out with takes out his Yivitol, I don't know how to pronounce that name to be honest, I never could. He just proceeded by taking me out with foul play. And that's Bronzong down. My plan here was basically to just do as much damage as I can to this Yivitol because it's... Yeah, I guess you could say it's not a threat, apart from the Blaziken. They're all pretty much threats, I mean it's an Uber's team, so... You gotta expect all of them to do something like... Like do a lot of work. <laughs> Except in this case, he's fly. I'm like, hmm, not really sure if this Yuvatal is a real threat now. He could have, like, the worst moves. So I just want to switch out to my Spirit Tomb. He's pretty much my physical wall, which may not really be effective in this case because he gets mm, just over half. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I probably could have taken that a little better, but. You know, Spirit Tomb is Spirit Tomb. It's not really higher up in the tier, so it's not really the best Pokemon. Even though its typing is like amazing. He goes for an Oblivion Wing. Yep, gets all his health back. Nothing I can do about that. I just had to go for Toxic. I mean, I'm a Dark type, Dark Ghost. I mean, none of my stab moves really hurt this thing, so best thing I can do is stall it out. Yep, getting more lefties recovery. I'm getting more lefties recovery. <coughs> and he's racking up poison damage, which is good, but seeing that he has a Oblivion Wing, it's gonna take a while. Even if in, especially when he switches out, that's gonna be a bit of a pain for me. Goes for another foul play and just takes me out. Spirit him down, no. He did well. Sort of. <laughs> Getting more left is recovery and a bit more poison damage. So, on the way to killing this thing, let's take out my Omastar. This is a shell smash, some a shell smash set. So, pretty much, has, pretty much has focus sash. I mean, I don't know why people sometimes go for um the white herb or was it the red herb that you know restores the defense drops. I mean, usually when you have a Focus Ash set, I mean a, smel uh, a Shell Smash set, you need to live a hit 
you have to live a hit. It's very, very, very important. So basically, there I live my um, focus blast, which I was sort of suspecting he had, but you know I have ancient ancient power, so <laughs> I can take that thing out in one hit. Hopefully, yep. <laughs> it's not that defensive. The Uvital. I mean, I don't know why they gave Uvital and the Xerneas the same stat, like stat spread. It's kind of weird. Personally, I would have preferred Uvital to be like a little faster and um, Xerneas to be like I don't know, more attacking. Maybe no, yeah, it has good attack. Maybe like high attack, but you know, speed. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways. I just go for a surf on this Mewtwo Y. He proceeded by taking me out with a Thunderbolt, so no sweep today, little Omastar. Praise Lord Helix. Here I just come out with my Munchlax, and this is pretty much the point of the battle where it's a little bit stoly. I mean, this is a 20 mo 29 move battle, and we're pretty much only halfway, so I just proceeded by going for a curse, start setting up. Start getting those <coughs> defense and attack boosts because the thing is with this much like set, um, it's a cur you know most curse sets happen and when people start setting them up, they're trying to build up their defenses and both defense and special defense. So that's pretty much the idea here. And I do have rest and sleep talk, as you can, you know, as you can. As you can assume, because I go for a rest right now. Yep, I'm getting all my health back. And god, this Mewtwo just doesn't know what else to do. I mean, I think it's only moves or or sphere and possibly a psychic move and obviously a Thunderbolt. Yeah, Mewtwo has good coverage. That's what makes it ubers and obviously it's monstrous stats that really make it way out of league for most pokes. Okay, let's go for another curse from that sleep talk. He proceeds by still spamming Horus Fears. What can I do? Well, at least I'm living them. I mean, they're not like two hit KOs or anything like that because I'm um, obviously Evil Evil Light Munchlax has a lot, a lot of bulk, special bulk mostly because I mostly built this as a special wall. But you know, <coughs> giving a curse just makes it a mixed wall, which is a good thing. And plus, he can have like a really, really good. Um, attack boost from all the curse, so he can also act as a nice physical attacker. Oh, he actually goes for a side strike now. To be honest, I was waiting for that. I'm like, hmm, I think it would have been better if he went for that because my defenses are not as good as my special defense, even though I got my curses up. But if he managed to get a crit, that could really hurt my Munchlax and that could really end it. You know, end my little, my little setup here. Goes for another Aura Sphere. <coughs> I just. Yep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep, talk. Hopefully, I don't get rest. And I get Body Slam. Finally taking this Mewtwo out. Yep. <coughs> now it takes out his Zygarde. The illegal Zygarde. <laughs> if you, <he coughs> if he gave that move, he might as he might as well just made the Zygarde shiny. You know, Colgate Zygarde. <laughs> if you can, t if you can see the, what the shiny looks like, I reckon it looks like you know toothpaste. <laughs> it's like green and white. Ugh. I don't really like it. I went back here for a rest because you know I don't want Munchlax to die, and this. Zygarde seems to be really, really outraged. Uh -huh, see what I did there? And he wants to just take my Munchlax out. So I go for another sleep talk. Ugh, and I get a rest. You know, I was kind of anticipating that would happen. Ah, <laughs> he got confused. I think he only had two outrage moves, so I'm not really paying attention that much. I'm only paying attention to my Munchlax and what it does. Yep, I set up another curse, which is, you know, no no harm. I mean, you know, having more attack power and defense power, you know, I welcome it. He, yep, he <laughs> goes for another, he goes for a Land's Wrath. I actually don't know if that's physical or special, but seeing from that damage, it could be special. I just go for a Body Slam, now that I can wake up, because, you know, 
<laughs> and he gets paralyzation. But yeah. You can easily work around rest if you know when to wake up. I mean, you know, it's a two move sleep, and obviously, sleep talk, you can't really work around it, but you can only hope for the best that you get the right move. In this case, it's two out of three. I'm getting something beneficial curse or body slam, or, you know, I don't know why <coughs> sleep talk decides to use rest. I mean, you should really fix that. It's kind of retarded, in my opinion. Oh, gets a free shock. I think free shock is a. S Electric, maybe, or ice, one of them. Electric or ice, who knows. I just proceeded by going for a body slam, and I get hit by a rocky helmet, and he just releases his straight shock. I think, oh, it doesn't take me out. Alright. And I pretty much finish off with a body slam. And, yep, a little bit more rocky helmet damage, and I think that's pretty much the game. <laughs> I just performed a, you know, slightly small little late game, much like sweep, so. Anyway guys, thank you for watching the battle, hope you enjoyed it, I want to give thanks to um, Lauren, the one that uploaded this battle, or in this case she's known as Happy Moon Wolf, <laughs> very very nice and creative name in my opinion, and I hope you guys have a nice day, see ya.